right. We're going to take a quick flight up to uh, Disneyland, just buzz it a few times. And let's get started. I'm at uh, Orange County John Wayne Airport right now, so let's make sure our fuel is set for both tanks. And let me get rid of this for the moment. Let me zoom in here. Let's turn on our uh, master switches here. Okay, turn on our beacon light. And let's get the fuel pump going for a second. All right, so let's get ready to start. Let's uh, put that in just a hair. All right, clear prop. And here we go. Oh, what happened here? Let's try this again. Let's make sure that's open. There we go. Clear prop. There we go. Much more like it. Guess I should put on the uh, parking brakes, huh? Okay, let's turn the avionics on. Let's turn uh, our taxi lights. We don't need pushback. I don't know why she keeps asking for that. John Wayne Brown, LES 9 or 9 or requesting the end of pushback. Let 9 or 9 or request to end pushback received. Alright, get out of here, mister. Let's turn on nav lights. No, we don't need any of that at the moment. I'd like to, I'd like to have my gauges lit up a little bit. Okay, let's make sure barometer is set. That's about right. And all right, let's uh, let's taxi out here. <clears throat> We're going to take off on runway twenty right. Again, this is Orange County John Wayne Airport. K-S-N-A, or for the non-pilots out there, it's just referred to as S-N-A. This is going to be a pure VFR flight. Uh, it won't use any of the autopilot navigation features. I'll, I may use some of the autopilot features as far as heading, but we'll see. Okay, we're gonna pull up here. I'm gonna do the run up. Got a little run up uh, procedure here. John okay. Wayne Tower, LES 9 or 9 are ready for straight out departure. All right. right. And what I'm gonna do here is set, bring the RPMs up to 1800 right here. I've got, I've got the brakes on. Okay, 1800. Let's switch to one magneto and it should drop a little bit no more than like 100 rpm i believe or 150 i think is what it is i'll switch to the other magneto and it should be less than 50 rpm variance that looks good let's go back to both and we're back to both bring the idle down some let's uh turn our landing lights turn off taxi lights got strobe we don't need the pito heat let's set our flaps to one I really don't need the flaps but uh, I like to have at least one one notch of flaps and everything else looks looks good uh, see where we got anything no one's coming in there 
clear to the right. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, looks like uh, we're good. Flaps are at one. Let's do it. Full mixture. Looks good. And we're off. Disneyland's probably like, I don't know, five minute flight, not even. It's uh, pretty close to the north northwest of the airport. I'm taking off kind of on a southerly route. But we'll, we'll turn right after liftoff. Oh, rudder's a little sensitive on this thing. I don't fly this particular aircraft that often. In fact, I, I rotated a little too late, but that's okay. Near the airport. Let's, uh, let's make our bank to the right. Flaps up. No landing gear to worry about. That's so fine. It's straight out here. We're only going to fly like a thousand feet there, or at least that's the plan. Right now we're about coming up on 700 feet. So go a little, turn a little bit more. Pull back some. Flight following. See the green blinking light of John Wayne Airport. Make sure barometer set at two nine nine or two. Yep. And Harbor Boulevard is over here on our left. There's some other hotels. As you can see, some of the resort hotels. I'm going to slow down. I'm going to put in one notch of flap since we're going to be we're going to be flying somewhat slow. All right. So the hotel is there on the left. Uh, you can see the white dome on the left. That's the Anaheim Convention Center. And the, the little tall building you see almost in front of the nose, to the left of the nose, that's the Terror of Tower, or the Hollywood, I think they changed the name. It used to be the Terror of Tower on, at California Adventure. So California Adventure is right here on the left. And then you have Space Mountain directly in front of us with the Matterhorn with the Matterhorn uh, in the distance here. So let me see if I can circle around. Let me bring this up so you can see. There we got our Space Mountain, Tomorrowland. And there's, that's the Matterhorn right there. Be honest with you, I forget a lot of the names of different areas of. Uh, oops, of it. Oh, that's that brown mountain. What is that called? That is. Uh, what is that called? It's a, it's like a roller coaster, a small one. And there's the parking garage below us. The the big, a big garage. I need to get some speed because the stall warning keeps nagging us. There's the convention center in front of us, the white dome. And then the green roofed buildings right up here is the 
uh, I think the Grand Californian Resort Hotel, that's on the uh, uh, property of uh, the California Adventure. And then I believe that's the brown rocks there. Is that the cars? Uh, the cars attraction? I believe it is, yes. need to speed up before I before I crash. In fact, I'm going to extend the or retract the flaps. I think that might be my issue. It's, it's actually taking me too slow. Okay, there's a roller coaster of uh, California Adventure to the uh, down below to the right. Let me see if I can. There's the convention center. There's the roller coaster. Thing. I better uh, better straighten out here before I become an attraction at uh, Disneyland here. Typically, Disneyland is off limits to aircraft. It's a ten, it's a, a permanent no fly zone. There's a permanent no tam issued. Uh, but since it's pandemic. It's a pandemic time. There, are, Disneyland is closed, but also it's a flight. It's a flight simulator, so it really doesn't matter. There's California Adventure. This is the, the property between the two parks. The entrance to California Adventure to the left. The Grand Californian to the left there as well. The Disneyland Hotel to, to the left coming up. Some other hotels. Been around here to get. There's the huge parking garage structure for Disneyland for the main parking for all the tourists. It's got some extraordinary, extraordinarily large amount of parking spots. I forgot what the number is, but it's huge. And here's there's the uh, I forget what that is, but here we come on Space Mountain in the Matterhorn. See if I can cruise over the lagoon at California Adventure. There's those tall hotels right there that kind of prohibit flying over that big lake uh, from you know going westbound because you have to clear those hotels once you cruise over the lake. I tried it the other day and uh, I made it, but it was barely enough. So I'm going to try it going the other way, more easterly direction. Uh, maybe too close. Let's see. Uh, you know what, let's try it anyway since I'm going out this way. Let's look at Space Mountain one more time. Circle around. There's the five freeway. Let's come all the way back around here. There's some extra parking over here off the of Harbor Boulevard. That's what those cars are doing there. Okay, let's see. Pull this off without crashing into those tall hotel buildings. Ooh. Oh, I didn't get low enough. Sorry about that. Oh well, that was fine. <laughs> oh, I'm going to stall here. Push it down.
the big part of the garage again. And I think this, that the water there with the trees in the middle, that's the, is that Tom Sawyer Island or whatever they call it? I forget what that is. I think there's Toontown down there somewhere. All right, that's enough of this. Let's make it back to John Wayne Airport. Okay, so this is like a very, very long base base approach <laughs> to to John Wayne. And then I'll turn final once we get lined up with it. Uh, get some trim set here so I don't have to fight with this. Okay, the airport's right over here. So I'm going to go forward the way we're going, and then I'll, I'll turn into final uh, once we get even with it. I'm still climbing a little bit, so let me back off on that. Let me bring her down to a thousand. Can we see? Okay, the airport's over in here. There it is. So we're going to keep going this way and then we will we'll turn right so that we're lined up with runway 20 right, 20R, which I believe is those leading lights there of the runway. All right, I'm going to start, start a gentle base turn toward the airport. No other airplanes are coming, so that's good. We got one airplane up here, but it doesn't seem to be affecting us. Right now we are over the Tustin area, Tustin, California. And the freeway to our right Yes, that freeway to the right, I believe, is the 50, is it 55, 57? I can never remember, I get it mixed up. 55. And we're about to cross over the 5 freeway right down here. Oh, it cuts through here. And that's the, El, the old El Toro hangars. I need to turn. I overshot the airport as I'm talking too much. Okay, so we have two sets of runways. It's the one on the right, 20R. Cut some power, that'll get us descending a bit. Yeah, as I was saying, these are the, the military hangars that uh, this is not in use today, at least not militarily, but they do a lot of movie sets and, and filming inside these hangars because they're huge. Their ceiling is, I don't know, hundreds of feet. All right, I'm descending about 500 feet, 400 feet per minute. I need to bring that down a little bit more. Okay, once I get down into the flap zone here which is around what 80 87 I think technically right here I can put the first notch of flaps in I definitely need to slow down so let me do that let me I'm gonna pull up just to reduce my airspeed and then I can put the flaps in all right first notch of flaps I'm on the glide path, not the glide slope. Oh, I'm a little below it now. Let me 
give her some fuel. Yep, now I'm, I got two white, two red on the Pappy lights. Reduce more power, I'm way too high. Okay, power is at idle. Dividing end. I'm a little fast, but. Uh, I'm floating. Oh well. Ooh, ouch. A little rough. Oh well. We made it down in one piece, it looks like. Hopefully I didn't damage any of the landing gear. And if I did, it will tell me. And it'll actually crash, and that would be the end of things in, in this simulator. Alright, so... Exit. Exit onto this taxiway. Let me get off the runway here, beyond the the run-up marker here. The hold short line. Okay, let me do a little little clean up. Let's put our flaps in. Let's turn our landing lights off, taxi lights on. Let's bring our trim back to. The Take off. Okay, let's go park. I'm going to park my usual spot here, which is underneath the the canopy, the overhang here, just to keep it out of the sun. Make sure I don't hit the, the wings on the pole here sometimes. I get don't get straight. Now that's good enough. Alright, let's uh, let's set the parking brake. Okay. Turn let's turn off our strobe lights, nav lights, taxi lights. Line lights are off. We'll keep the beacon on until we get everything shut down. Flaps are clean. Turn off the avionics. Let's uh, lean out the mixture, which shuts it down. Let's go back in here and uh, shut that off. Close the fuel valve. Turn off the magnetos. And finally, power a oh, beacon light off, and power everything else off. All right, and there we are. Yeah, I'm in the shade at least. I didn't necessarily pull in all the way, but uh, it's in the shade. Hope you enjoyed a little virtual Disney tour. And we'll fly later.